Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Eastful Energetics and Limitless if you're listening into the podcast. I'm tuning in for you uh, in Ibiza, um, it's quarter past eight in the morning, I've just had my morning walk. What's coming up for me today? Wow, this morning I woke up with so much frustration and tension in in my body. I could really feel it come into the surface and I could really feel it almost taking over my thoughts. My thoughts were very quick, very rushed, agitated, worried. And it had me reflecting on how the more we do this work, this internal work, the more that we reflect on how life is guiding us, how life is teaching us, the more things we are able to hold the more things that were once unconscious that were once suppressed within us can begin to come to the surface so that we can see them so that we can work with them so that we can heal them so whatever you're experiencing right now if you're someone who's who's doing this work and if you're listening to this podcast I'm sure you are in some way I would invite you to not be afraid of the days when you have more challenging emotions and experiences show up in your reality, show up in your body, in your emotions, for they are still here to serve you through this experience, only in a different way. They're here to show you what was once unconscious, what was once suppressed and is now, because of the space that you're creating, is now able to surface for you to see that and for you to work with that. And what awareness gives us is choice. When we're aware of something, we can choose a different way. We can choose to love ourselves more deeply when these emotions surface um, and actually break those generational patterns, those cycles and loops that we've experienced in the past where we're, we're shaming ourselves for these more challenging emotions or repressing and avoiding them because it's seen as almost not right to express them or not right to feel this way this is where it kind of goes into this positive mindset self-help world where we're like just be positive and everything amazing will happen for you and through my experience someone who's been on this journey for for nearly most of my life I've been in therapy since I was 14 and um, I've been exploring this more deeper world for the past five six years I've actually found that when we work with everything that is here, that is shown to us in the moment, whether that be the the emotions such as joy and love and all of these beautiful experiences we could have, and at the same time work with when the worry surfaces, when the anger surfaces, when the fear surfaces, all of these other things that we're often told to either suppress, push away, or are unhealthily expressed through us through reactions. And we kind of normalize this way of expressing, expressing these emotions, expressing these feelings. So I want to invite you to find a new way to work with them. And this is something that is a big, a big topic for me this week, um, because I've just released started to release my poetry which is really exciting and started to to put that out in the world um, in spoken form in video form um, I've been writing poetry for most of my life but it's only been the past three four months where I've started to build that poetry up and actually wrote a book which I'll be self-publishing over the next um, the next few months and and then I've also wrote a second book on top of that because so much comes through um, through poetry. For me, poetry is is one of my ways that I express, one of my unique ways um, that I channel my emotions, my feelings, my experiences in ways that I can release and also connect to the experience in different ways. Um, so for me, this has been a, a really new week, a really expansive liberating and scary as well as I kind of put this um 
this expression out into the world that um that has probably remained hidden within me for a long time um and one thing that was was very on my mind when i was doing this is a lot of my poetry um channels and speaks on my more my more challenging experiences in life my more darker moments that i've had and darker thoughts that i've had um I wrote one about being a narcissist when I was younger and like wanting to control things. And I thought like to keep these poems to myself would be a way that I couldn't avoid judgment from others, avoid judgment of from others about what they would say about this work, about how they would feel about this work, about whether I'd make people uncomfortable or not, and whether it was too much for the world. Um, whether people would start viewing me as this horrible, dark person because of the poetry that I write. So I think this is why for a long time I kept this kept this hidden and also pursued other things um, as the sort of front of my business and the work that I do. Because to me it was it was scary to really unleash my expression in this way and to to share these versions of myself with other people um, and this is something that was on my mind for a while uh, a lot of the time unconscious <laughs> it was uh, always kind of excuses to put it out there until I kind of worked with with these feelings um, and the more I connected in the more I realized that unleashing my unique self-expression was was limited not because of what I thought other people would think this was an element of it of course but I realized that what I thought other people would think about my work is what I was unconsciously thinking about my work or was afraid that I would feel if I was to put it out there so I was judging myself for for feeling angry when I was younger and writing words about feeling angry. I was judging myself for these different versions of myself that I've experienced throughout my life, the, the controlling version, the needy girl, all of these different characteristics that we all have and that we all experience in our lifetime. And I was judging myself for being this way, for feeling this way for being human i was judging the aspects of the human experience even though it was coming through me to be written in these words i was still holding them almost prisoner in a way because they would be expressed in a way that would allow me to release and allow me to see myself but i was still looking at them as a separate entity than who i was than than part of me it was like putting them on paper and then there we go this version of me now has this bit of paper let's separate it let's like now say it's no longer in my system or no longer who I am and the more I read my poetry the more I connected in with my work read my poetry to other people and you can you can fill in the blank with whatever your self-expression is so for you it might be um, dancing singing and if you don't have this kind of unique outlet yet then just play with the idea of what could be possible for you as, as I speak through my experience so as I sort of read my poetry to other people as I start to write poetry for other people um, I started to connect in with the power that these words had and I realized that the power that these words had was the power that was in those versions of me that was writing these words that was allowing herself to be a channel for something so much higher something so much greater to come through to really frame the human experience in a way that allows other people to connect into it to hear themselves in those words to feel into those words and see themselves almost like a mirror in those words and then validate their own experience realize that they're not alone with what they're experiencing with what they're going through they're not alone with the dreams and desires that they have in their heart 
And this for me was such a, a liberating realization because it, it helped me to truly love those versions. I mean, first it was a more acknowledgement and acceptance of those those versions. And you can listen to my last podcast, um, Letting Go Through Self-Love, which really goes deeper into the, to this process that I use. Um, but for me, it's, it was really about reading those words, seeing the power that those words had and seeing the power that those different versions of me had and why I walked everything that I did in my life, like how everything was working for me, how every heartbreak that I had, how every pain that I experienced up to this moment, I could then use that feeling um, that those emotions, that experience and turn it into something turn it into art, turn it into something so beautiful that allows other people to connect into their experience. So um, it's through, yeah, through reading that it helped me to see the power that I have within myself that those versions of me had and how they all served me. They all served me and it helped me to love those those versions of myself, those personality traits that I had when I was younger, those actions, those behaviors that once maybe I would have shamed and suppressed and deep in my love for, for those, for those versions of myself, for those emotions and through that love, um, then let go and really step into, to who I truly am and see that even though these expressions allow me to free what is unconscious within me and allow me to connect and love myself even more deeply they also are not me but i am beyond all of these things is something that is that is so like it's constantly changing and it stays the same exactly at the same time it's like this paradox of truth and that I am beyond all of these expressions. When you know yourself as that, as that, that entity, that soul, that that being, whatever you want to call it, when you know yourself there, then you allow everything else to flow through you, move through you, experience it, like be with it, like enjoy it, the human experience, no matter what it is, without identifying with it, without putting yourself in a box that says that this is who you are so this is why unleashing your self-expression your unique self-expression as we all have our own ways that that our soul wants to express itself and we all have different ways as i have poetry i love to dance as well this is another way that i allow emotions to move through me and experiences to be understood within my system so we all have our own unique ways so when we unleash these unique ways these unique ways of self-express expressing we then connect even more deeply to our being that is that is beyond these things because the more we love and the more through that love we let go of identifying ourselves in certain ways the more we are free to just allow life to flow through us for everything to move through us and it creates this fluidity and ease and freedom and within our being because we're not limiting ourselves to just be a certain way to just be this version of ourselves we're allowing all of them to exist within us almost as if we are the space and then everything else moves within that space um, with, with freedom, with ease. And it helps us to discover how truly powerful we are and release these emotions that otherwise would stay locked in our body. And this is when we have so much tension created and so much inner conflict and our thoughts are, are running wild because we're kind of in conflict and suppressing parts of ourselves that want to come out. So unleashing your unique self-expression is really about allowing yourself to be with what is coming through in the moment 
So if you have anger surfacing, if you have sadness surfacing, if you have joy surfacing, like feel that emotion in your body. Like don't just label it as, oh, I'm joy. this is joy right now and give yourself two seconds to feel it. Same with anger, same with sadness. Like feel that deeply in yourself and know that as you feel it, it's not going to create bad things in your life or whatever other stories you have around the why you shouldn't feel these emotions feeling it is actually what allows you to connect to it to heal it to release it so you're just feeling it in the body so maybe you can tune into something that's coming up for you now so as I mentioned this morning I had a lot of frustration before my morning walk so if I tune into that now and I'm like okay where is this frustration where am I feeling this frustration in my body So for me, um, a lot of the time it's around my womb space, um, around my pelvic area, around my hips. So I can notice that and I can breathe into that and I can just allow that frustration to be there. So maybe you're feeling in the shoulders, in the head, in the legs, wherever you feel it, it's okay. And just tune into that and allow yourself to, allow the body to show you the way there's nothing you need to think about here or even figure out just allow the body to show the way and really feel where this is coming up for you and then as you feel where it's coming up for you get curious about how does this feeling want to move through you how does this feeling want to express itself so for me right now I can feel like yeah, I just want to, I just want to move my body, move my, my hips, move my, move my, um, move my legs and just allow it to kind of flow move through me. Maybe for you, it's, it's writing, like, like if you're similar to me, it might be poetry or lyrics and like allowing that feeling to express itself on paper so whatever your channel is and if nothing's coming through like that's okay maybe right now it's just simply sitting with it like sometimes we don't need to express what's there sometimes we can simply allow ourselves to sit with it and feel it and that feeling alone by feeling it alone sometimes that self-expression will come through so if it's sadness you might find you cry or you you want to scream and you want to shout and I just want to invite you to, to not suppress any of these ways that the emotion wants to come through. Oh, sorry, there's a cleaner outside, so you might hear it. <laughs> um, not suppress any of these ways it wants to come through because they are here to serve you. They are here to help you release these feelings. And we're, again, ashamed for this expression because once we grow up, we think we can't have these moments where we're, we're screaming and we're shouting and we're crying and we're looking a mess and all of this or whatever stories you have around that. And actually, we need that more than ever. We need that space for us to release, for us to connect um, more than ever, especially when we have such busy and hectic and chaotic lives. We need to create space for ourselves to express what we're feeling And to me, expressing what we're feeling is not about talking about the feeling, but around really deeply feeling it and then listening to how the body wants to move that. So we've spoken about a few different ways of that, but you find your own unique ways. So unleashing your self-expression is about allowing yourself to feel what's there and then allowing that feeling to guide you with how it wants to come through you, how it wants to move through you. And watch how your self-expression then flowers into lots of different things, lots of different ways of releasing. The more I find that I go into the inner world, the more I do this work, the more I find that there's so many different ways I express myself and the more free I am to do these, to do these things without judgment for myself. And when I notice the judgment, it's about simply bringing that deeper love to myself recognizing that really keeping myself locked in keeping myself limited and 
and not free from showing up how I want to in the moment, how I feel I need to in the moment is actually what is keeping me out of feeling truly alive uh, and connected to life. So as we come to the end of this episode, I want to invite you this week to tune into a way for how um, listen in to yourself and find a way that helps you to express yourself, whatever that is. And you can share that with me um, by messaging me on Instagram. That's at Emma Evelyn Campbell. I'd love to hear the ways that you are connecting in, the ways you're choosing to express. You can also leave a message in the comments if you're watching this on YouTube. I'd love to hear from you and connect in with, with everyone who's listening into these episodes. We'll be back again next Wednesday. I do these live in my Facebook community, the Easeful Energetics community. So you can find the, the link for that group in the show notes of this episode or in the um, notes if you're watching on YouTube. So I'd love for us, for you to join us there, for you to join us live every Wednesday morning. Um, if not, if you're watching the replay or the podcast, there's lots of other ways to get involved in my world and connect deeper with me. Also in the show notes or in the description, if you're watching on YouTube. Thank you, everyone. And I will see you all next week. Have a beautiful week wherever you are in the world. Sending you much love. Bye-bye.